Okay, I'm here to talk to you today about a uh, firearm I purchased, the Smith & Wesson J-Frame. Um, I really don't like making firearm videos, but I thought that this video had to be made. Uh, let's start by unloading the firearm. Alright, and I'll start with the story. Uh, I purchased this firearm from a third party. Uh, it was in fairly good condition. I was going to make it my everyday carry gun. And I did for a while. Uh, I let, shortly after buying it, I let my uh, dad borrow it actually the day after. And uh, he negligently discharged this firearm. Now, anytime you negligently discharge a firearm, it is your fault. It is, so there is no, it's, it's not an accident, it's negligence. So, uh, but I wanted to tell that story and show how I think it is in some way this firearm's fault. And I think you, by showing you this video, maybe I can help somebody else with a J-frame from negligently discharging this firearm or maybe hurting or killing somebody. So here it goes. Uh, I gave him the gun. Uh, it was loaded. Obviously, I carry it loaded. Um, he said he was at his house, unloaded the firearm, and was dry firing the firearm. Now, obviously, it was in a safe direction, but uh, he pulled the trigger twice, and the firearm went off, went off in the house. Now, luckily, he never points the gun at anybody in a safe direction at the at the ground, and uh, it didn't hurt anybody, but it could have went really wrong and I'll show you why it did this so he unloaded the firearm just like I unloaded the firearm just a second ago but when you tilt this firearm upside down it has a, uh, it's like a flaw or something I don't know but I unloaded this firearm completely right in front of you and look they're still around in the firearm now how I figured out this was a problem was I did that a couple of times exactly how I unloaded it and I noticed the round would stick every now and again now this round sticks on a section of the the firearm that sticks out I guess it holds the cylinder from going out now I own a lot of Smith & Wessons and they some of them have this and some of them don't uh, some of them have like a little bar but this one is the only one that I have. I own three, a K-frame and another J-frame. This is the only one I have that has this problem. And the gun has not been modified in any way, shape, or form. But I'll, I'm going to show you with a live round how uh, what tends to happen. So I put, I load it like usual. Hold my five rounds. And five rounds will drop out just as long as the rim of that shell doesn't line up with that notch that keeps the cylinder from coming out it's fine so you can tilt it five rounds come out but I don't know maybe half the time that I unlo unload this firearm a round will position itself here and it will not come out it will not it doesn't matter what you do if it's lined up on that side, it will not come out. If you turn it slightly, it will come out. If you, if it's lined up, it, there's no, it will not come out. So let me, here, I'll try to show you without tilting it. So just as long as it's lined up with that notch, it holds around in the gun. And uh, this is especially dangerous when, like in the dark, I was going to keep this gun at my house as a, uh, as a home defense weapon after this uh, fiasco but I don't even want to do that because if I unload the gun in the dark or put it on my nightstand uh, I'm afraid there's gonna be a round left in there and I know that you're supposed to check it and I'm really good at it so I've never had a round stay in there after I knew the problem was there that's why I made this video to show you maybe you have this problem but uh, I don't really want to take the chance. Uh, I mean, I could be careless one time and forget, and that cost somebody their life. Uh, I don't trust the firearm anymore. Uh, I don't understand why this is a problem, 
but this is not a modified J frame, so it shouldn't be having this problem. I wouldn't think. Uh, I don't know. I just I just lost a ton of faith in this firearm for uh, protecting my family, and uh, I figured I would show somebody else in case they had a J frame. This is an airweight just like this and uh, maybe theirs hasn't done it or maybe they just bought it and they didn't know that that could happen and uh, could save somebody from getting hurt seriously bad so uh, that's uh, kind of what I wanted to talk to you about if anybody else has uh, run in this issue or know a fix for this issue uh, comment below I like I said I don't make firearm videos I really don't like sharing my firearms I don't like people knowing I have firearms um, I carry concealed uh, I'm just not comfortable uh, I guess with everybody knowing I have a bunch of firearms but this video like I said needed to be made this is the only time I anybody in my family has ever negligently discharged a firearm and even though it, well, he should have he should have checked the chain. He should have looked and seen if all the bullets were out of the firearm, unloaded from the firearm, and that is totally his fault. And it totally would have been his fault if he would have discharged the firearm and killed somebody because it wasn't pointed in a safe direction, and he would have had to take responsibility for that, as would you if you discharged this firearm with a round in there. But this round sticking in this firearm not coming out i mean there's nothing you can do to get it out when it's lined up with that marker seems like it's uh unsafe and i wouldn't want you to carry a firearm that's unsafe and i don't want to carry a firearm that's unsafe uh this is why i stayed away from this firearm and uh i really just want to make this video to help um so if you got a j-frame please check and see if uh, your J frame does this. Now I've seen some of the newer J frames have a bar here and I don't know if they have the same problem. I haven't had any of the problems with my Smith & Wesson revolvers, period. But this one is, uh, this one did it and it's really uh, unnerving. It's re This really could be an issue that cost somebody their life and uh, I hope it's not I hope it's not you guys so um, that's my video I hope it helped uh, if I don't I don't know what to say just uh, comment below if you have this problem or you know how to fix this problem thank you